Hello, welcome guys back to uh, Smiles Code. Today we're going to be treating something really simple. This is how to import uh, Bootstrap files into your project or your existing project. And basically, I'm going to be showing you three ways where which we can do this. And just to kick off, we're going to go to the workspace and we will be creating a new folder. And the first method by which we can import Bootstrap into our project is by tapping the bootstrap plus html file project we're just going to create it so we create and we're going to get just one html file and then a bootstrap file and a char chartist file for a chart that is currently in uh, this project it's a, a default project that gets provided for us uh, for this uh, bootstrap plus html file so once you have the updated version of uh, this app you will be able to see this so we're just gonna see a dummy template right here already laid out for us it's not quite looking so nice because of how humongously the code is but if you look uh, if you run this program right now you would see how awesome it's looking so all this is just bootstrap code the styles as you can see there is no uh, initial uh, CSS file it's just bootstrap and this is the chartist uh, styling that we saw earlier. This is just the the drop down menu, bootstrap drop down menu, and the rest. And if you click on the desktop mode, you would see how nice this app is also looking on desktop layer. As you can see, it's a very responsive uh, website built with, with bootstrap. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to import the styles into your project in spec code editor and for first kicks you could import uh, this style just by using this one that's already here you can just actually copy the, the bootstrap style that's already here if you watch the, the first video my first video on, uh, on spec code editor you would see how to copy uh, things from a file you could also cut it if you want okay but for now before for us to be able to to import it to or copy it to project you have to actually create that project so we're going to create our own project i'm just going to choose the uh, default uh, html template and just create it right away so that we can actually see how we do these things and we have two projects existing projects now on our workspace so we're going to go back to the initial bootstrap plus html uh, project and what we want to do right now is we want to copy the html file at uh, bootstrap uh, .css file into our new project so we're just going to create a click on copy to project and we're going to select that project so we're going to click, uh, click on html and then click ok so it says I uh, copied one items and if we go back to the other project right now we should be able to see that the bootstrap is right here in its res dot uh, in its res uh, folder and we can actually rename this file make it a little bit smaller it's a minified version of bootstrap so we can just leave it at bootstrap okay. so we're good to go so to import this to our existing file you just come here and type in a link tag and tab and we can now link the uh, bootstrap file that we just got so we're gonna say boost rather bootstrap dot mean dot css and this should already import bootstrap into our file so just to test it we're gonna add a bootstrap class to this text right here I'm gonna say text dash success this is supposed to give it a text uh, color of green so if we run it hopefully we should see okay um, it's not working yet okay I think the problem is that we forgot to uh, add the folder res before the bootstrap so that's my bad Okay, I'm gonna add it right now so res then slash bootstrap so this should get us the bootstrap file hopefully 
and yes it does if i put this back to mobile view you should see that it's a green text so right now we could just start adding uh bootstrap classes as much as we want say heading this just heading give it h1 add h1 the text text of text center to, to, to center the text and as you can see the, te the text is right at the center and it's a green text so uh, moving on to how else we can actually add bootstrap classes into our files the next is just going to your browser scroll down to getbootstrap.com again the website is getbootstrap.com and then just click on read the docs you should be able to see a template right here bootstrap template right here you just copy everything you have here so on the second including bootstrap css and js as a javascript and then go back to your html pro the html project that we created we can actually remove everything here so we're gonna say delete you can see i've deleted and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna import what we had already copied so i'm gonna click on this icon this copy icon right here and it has brought in the templates that we just copied from the bootstrap website as you can see right here and if you run this you shouldn't be actually be able to see any changes unless you add some bootstrap classes to the world hello world right here so if we say class and then we say again text forgive me for using the same example just trying to center trying to the time then text let's make it a blue color this time so we're gonna say primary and run that as you can see, we have hello world in blue and it is centered. So, this is the second way we can act, uh, add uh, Bootstrap. Lastly, is how to download the offline version of Bootstrap and then install it into your uh, spec code editor. So, we're going to go to read installation docs on the home screen from the screen and we just want to get this compiled and CSS the first button download. So, if you click on download, it's going to download it to your downloads. So I've already downloaded it as you can see right here bootstrap-5.2.2 uh, 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 zip so it's gonna uh, download it as a zip file and one thing you could do and how to extract it into the zip file if in case your phone doesn't have built-in uh, extractor just go to play store and download the archiver and use it and extract it so you're just gonna go to your downloads and click on the bootstrap file and just click on extract here once you do that you should be able to see this bootstrap folder containing a bunch of uh, bootstrap css files and also a js file containing a bunch of javascript bootstrap javascript files so once you have this right here you can then go back to your spec code editor and uh, import uh, those files mainly what we'll be looking for is the bootstrap uh, dot main uh, file and the js bundle file so right now i'm just gonna comment this uh, uh, uh online uh, cdn out so that it will be there hopefully it doesn't take up much of our space so once we have those files imported what we can do is that we can actually delete get rid of this file and create a new folder call it bootstrap bootstrap and right in bootstrap we're gonna import or rather create another folder called the css folder which would contain the css file and then right in the css file we're going to import uh, those extracted files so we're just gonna click on these three dots on the css uh, folder I'm gonna click on import files and I'm gonna use the Z archiver. I'm gonna go to downloads, go to the bootstrap folder, 
go, go to the CSS folder. And then what I'm looking for is basically the bootstrap.main.css. That's all I want. So I'm gonna click on that. And that has been imported as you can see right here. So I'm gonna click on the three dots on the bootstrap files again and create a new folder. Call it JS for JavaScript. In that JS, I'm going to import another file. Go to Z Archiver, download Bootstrap, then JS. Then what I'm looking for is Bootstrap.bundle.min.js. That's all I want. Once I have that, I have everything I need. So now I can import these uh, link tags into my file, and I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna type in link and allow the IntelliSense to help me out a bit if it could of course then tab then we want to get to the bootstrap file dot slash it's in the same directory as the uh, index.html so we're just staying in the same place so we're gonna uh, write in the file the folder name which is boot bootstrap then slash CSS and slash bootstrap dot mean dot CSS and then for the JavaScript we're just gonna go script so we are looking for the script uh, dash source uh, tag so we're gonna click on tab we get the Emmet Emmet uh, IntelliSense working right there and again we're gonna go dot slash bootstrap slash JS slash then bootstrap dot bundle I can actually spell bundle dot mean dot js so with this I hopefully if I got the the uh, correct spellings I think I went to uh, back twice I'm just gonna delete one of this because as we can see the HTML file is in the same directory with the bootstrap folder and also here don't know how that happened and if I could just run this and hopefully as you can see we are getting hello world because we are not having the offline version so even if my my internet access is turned off I could still just you know have my way so right here I could go text dash warning to give us a different uh, color I can see we're having a an orange color you could say BG to give us a background color BG dark a dark background color and if we run that as you can see we're having a really nice orange mixed with a background color we could give the body a gray looking color just need to add a CSS class to it to say BG dash uh, BG dash secondary and run that as you can see we're having really nice uh, bootstrap stylings and this is just a list of what you could do with bootstrap uh, hopefully more videos if per adventure I get uh, some likes and thumbs up on this video I will be creating a video on bootstrap uh, how to make really cool designs just using bootstrap and probably less of uh, css stylings and that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up i'll see you on the next video